It's a little cold. She said next time I do one of these, it'd be nice to be like in Los Angeles or something, you know? What's up everybody, it's Andrew from Ori and you are watching Expanded, our show where we take you all over the country and show you all the different kinds of Ori expandable apartments. And today I am in California. We're gonna take you over to Hollywood, to Inspire Hollywood. It's a brand new luxury building right off Sunset Boulevard that features two different kinds of Ori expandable apartments. This building is gorgeous. I can't wait to show it to you guys. So let's head over to Hollywood. Maybe on the way I'll grab like a wheatgrass shot or something. Is that? Is that still, are they still doing that here? I don't know. Inspire Hollywood is a brand new luxury development located in the heart of Hollywood, a block away from Sunset Boulevard. Previously, the site was home to just a parking lot. Now the lot holds 200 new homes in one of the hottest neighborhoods in Los Angeles. There are two types of Ori expandable apartments offered at Inspire Hollywood, expandable studios with a cloud bed and expandable junior one bedrooms with the pocket closet. With easy access to public transit, hiking trails, and world famous entertainment, Inspire Hollywood lets you live large in a small footprint. All right, so I am outside unit 702. This is one of the expandable studios with the cloud bed. Let's step inside and check it out. Look at those views when you first walk in, that's awesome. Walk in the door, the bathroom's on your right. This is nice. Big vanity, big mirror, and super cool bathroom tile. I love it. it doesn't have a tub, but it has the standing shower. It's pretty spacious and it has this Really, really nice tile. Back in the entrance, on the left, you've got a good sized coat closet. It's also where your internet hookups are. Something it has that I love and I'm really jealous of, I've always wanted these, is the pull out cutting boards that are built in. So you don't have to store your big clunky cutting boards somewhere and move them in and out. Just don't cut chicken on them. You gotta put something else down there so you don't get salmonella. Sink, washer dryer, and beautiful backsplash. Uh, and then of course, the Ori cloud bed looking beautiful in here. Let's go ahead and check that out. So right now we have it set up to be our living room and this will turn into our bedroom. So the bed's down, we're in bedroom mode now. Look at the sunlight pouring in through that window. These views are absolutely bananas. And not every unit has this, but this one has a private deck. So let's step out and check that out. I tell you, California in January, you can get used to this. Beautiful deck. I'm a squinter, so it's very bright out here for me, but I'll just let you see the muse. Can't beat that. Stepping back inside, you'll also notice that the living room bedroom area has this really nice built-in closet feature. Very spacious cabinets and these nice deep drawers that pull out. So that gives you a lot of nice storage that looks pretty is integrated in the walls. It's not in the way. Plus you have plenty of room for like another dresser here. Um, you've got room for an entertainment center across from you. This space is very versatile. It gives you a lot of options. It's really, really cool. Let's send the bed back up so we can kind of maximize our floor space here. So there's a few different versions of the expandable studios here. Hopefully we'll get a chance to check out a few others, but some of them have higher ceilings. This one I believe is at an eight foot ceiling. Um, but then we also have the expandable junior one bedrooms in this location, which feature the pocket closet. So let's go check out one of those next. All right, so now we're up on the eighth floor. We're gonna check out unit number 807. This is an expandable junior one bedroom with the pocket closet. So you come in, coat closet. On your left, bathroom. Something I really like about this building is that the units have a lot of variety to them. There's like little detailed differences in each that make them different. Like you'll notice the tile in this one is different than the one we saw downstairs. Even in the, uh, the shower. 
kind of neat how there's like a lot of variety between the different spaces. Beautiful countertops. We have the cool pull-out built-in cutting boards there still. And then something that's cool about this one is it has this small built-in writing desk. Uh, and then we get to the junior bedroom aspect of this. So right behind me is this half wall. You can see it doesn't go all the way to the ceiling. Um, you will notice, speaking of ceilings, by the way, that the ceilings in here are pretty high. I don't know exactly, but they look at least 12 feet, I'd say. Um, that's because we're on the top floor. So the top floor units have the high ceiling. But anyway, so right behind me, we have like our junior bedroom. So it's not a full bedroom because the, the, the wall doesn't go all the way up to the top. And it's got this little sliding barn door. Then we come through and we have a pretty tight bedroom space, but it's sufficient. Uh, something that's pretty nice that they thought of is they put a ton of outlets in the bedroom area. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven outlets just in this little space. All right, then you come out here and you've got your living room area with the pocket closet right behind me. Now, there's only one built-in closet in these units, so having this extra storage space is gonna be really important. You can see how it's set up where we have, like you can use that as your entertainment center. And don't forget, you also have the little drop-down writing desk. It uses your workspace. So then you can put your sofa opposite behind there and use that for your living room. Then we come in here, we can open up the pocket closet. And there we go, it gives us full walk-in closet to take advantage of. You've got hanging space, you've got angled shelf for your shoes, flat shelves, you can put suitcases in here, and of course the LED lighting. We close it up, and you reclaim all of that floor space to be back in your living room. This one also has a private deck, which is really nice. And something that I think is just so cool is that you could walk out on your deck and you've got the Hollywood sign right in your backyard. So check it out. Hollywood sign, pocket closet. Hollywood sign, pocket closet. This has gotta be one of the best view or apartments we have in the country. Really, really cool. So that is the expandable junior one bedroom here at Inspire Hollywood. There's one more unit type I wanna show you and that is the eighth floor expandable studio with a cloud bed. It's just a little bit different because it has the higher ceilings and some different built-ins. So why don't we check that out? All right, I'm on the other side of the building now. I'm outside unit 801. This is the top floor expandable studio with a cloud bed. So similar to what we saw before, but with higher ceilings and some different built-ins. Like the others, closets on your left, bathrooms on the right. Your washer dryer is also on the right here. And you've got that really nice kitchen with all that fun stuff built in. But you'll notice the ceilings are much higher and you get a ceiling fan across from the cloud bed, it has this nice built-in here with more cabinet space and then space for like a rolling chair here too, where you could roll in and out uh, and have a little desk. And then you have your cloud bed too. You bring that down, set up the bedroom. We've got the built-in closets here. You'll notice they have a different finish than the other ones too. Like I said, more that variety that's uh, in this building between the units. And then you also have a cool skylight up there too. So you get tons and tons of sunlight coming in this place. No deck on this one, but still killer views from your window. Before we continue with the tour, let me remind you that these units are now leasing. You can check out the link in the description of this video to sign up for a tour. And I would do that sooner than later if you're interested, because something tells me these places are going to move quickly. Also, this is your friendly reminder to hit subscribe and turn on notifications. We'd love to have you around as a subscriber and please leave us some comments. Back to the tour. Dodgers hat, Ray-Bans, iced coffee. Do I look like a local or what? I could live in LA. Let's look at some amenities. 
So something really cool about the whole building is this kind of has these like tier design. And so you get these different decks kind of randomly spread throughout the building. So chances are, no matter which unit you're in, you've got one like just within a few steps of your door. This one right on the seventh floor has this really cool like bird's nest chair. We've got a grill over here and then a little high bar table. And this is actually right next door to one of the, I think, best Ori units in there, the expandable studio with the cloud bed. So you step outside your door, walk three feet, you've got your own grill right there. That's pretty cool. Now that deck actually overlooks the pool deck just a few floors down. So we'll go walk down there in a little bit. But continuing to walk around the seventh floor, we have another little deck area with some nice astroturf and some seats laid out. It's a great place to sit out a little blanket, have a picnic. And I mean, the views are just insane, especially on a sunny day like today. You can just see for miles and miles. Up on the eighth floor, you have maybe the largest amenity deck. It's got more of these AstroTurf areas, at least three grills that I see, cool water feature, and these really cool undulating fiberglass benches all around. Now, a lot of this at this moment is still under construction, so there's not a lot to show you uh, just because they're still working on it over there. But you can tell once this is done, it's gonna be a really, really cool spot to hang out. This might be one of my favorite spots in the whole building. On the top floor, you have this little skywalk that takes you across from one side of the building to the other. And in sunset, it's like, it's not really one of the official decks, but why would you just not want to sit here and hang out? It's so, so pretty out here. Just amazing. And then down on the fourth floor, you've got my favorite part, the pool deck. What kind of brand new building in Los Angeles would be complete without a pool deck? It's also got these really cool, like hanging flower ponds right above me. Really neat. All right, let's go for a dip. Robert times two. The second floor in the middle of the building has this beautiful courtyard with a cool little water feature. And this, uh, some of the interior units of the building overlook this quiet courtyard here, which is nice. And these aren't hooked up yet, but you'll see these in a lot of the amenity spaces, these little propane fire pits. So it looks like there's gonna be some cool fire pits around, uh, which would be really fun on those kind of cool LA nights. Also down on the second floor is another little amenity space. I think this might be a dog run because it has the double gate, which would kind of lead me to believe that was a dog run. Maybe a little grass area there, but I'm not totally positive on that. But that's what my best guess would be. In the main lobby of the building, you can see it's very much so under construction, but they're building these really cool custom concrete countertops and banquettes past the welcome desk. Before you get to the elevators is the mail room. Mail room has its own closed door. Everybody gets their own locked mailbox. And best of all, they've got these big package lockers built in, and there's a lot of them here. Um, so you get your packages in, even you can see some of them are pretty large. Don't have to worry about them getting stolen, uh, you know. And then right past the, um, the mailboxes is something near and dear to my heart, bike storage. And this is a huge bike room. I mean, at least a hundred bikes could fit in here. That's pretty cool. Um, and it's locked, indoors, safe, keep your bike safe, keep the weather off of it. Now the gym uh, appears to be locked right now, so I can't get in there, but it's also under construction. A lot of the equipment's wrapped up still, but it's a pretty good size. It also looks like it has like a little studio room for classes with some big mirrors. Uh, and then like a garage door uh, that opens up. So I guess when the weather's nice, which is, I mean, think most days in Los Angeles, you get a nice outdoor breeze going through there. All right, so let's talk numbers. In the last few episodes, I've gotten to show you some very, very affordable places that actually came in at or well below market rate for their area. As you might guess from the kind of amenities this building has, this is not gonna be one of those episodes. The expandable studios with the cloud bed start at 3350 a month. Pause right there. 
Since we created this video, these units have actually come down in price to $29.56 a month, which puts them below the average rent for the area. Make sure you're checking the link in our bio for the most up-to-date pricing since it can change. The expandable junior one bedrooms with a pocket closet start at $3,600 a month. That said, the average rent right now in Hollywood is $29.77 a month. So we are a little bit above the average, but this is brand new luxury construction in a prime location. If you're looking for brand new construction in a great location in Los Angeles that offers premium features and an experience like none other, it's Fire Hollywood's a great place to be. The building has a walk score of 97. There are parts of Manhattan that don't have walk scores that good. It's got a transit score of 79 and a bike score of 71. And they say LA is a car city. You've got everything you need at your front door here. But yes, it has a parking garage. To be honest, it feels a little trite to do some neighborhood feature and try to sell you on the neighborhood. I mean, it's Hollywood. You're off Sunset Boulevard. This is the stuff dreams are made out of. Still, there is so much cool stuff in this neighborhood right around you in this building. Let's go to the map and check it out. Inspire Hollywood is surrounded by great restaurants from fine dining to fast food. Across the street, you'll find Superba, where I had some incredible cocktails and pasta for dinner. Down the block is Mad Lab Coffee, a perfect spot for coffee on the go. Within just a few miles are world-famous concert venues, the Hollywood Bowl and the Hollywood Palladium. Best of all, you're less than two miles away from Griffith Park and the dozens of hiking trails it has to offer. And if you're a movie buff, there's really no better place to live. On my last night in Hollywood, I went out to the New Beverly Cinema to catch some Hollywood classics on 35 millimeter prints. <laughs> Man, I don't want to go. That's going to do it for me from California. Thank you for watching Expanded. Make sure you hit subscribe and turn on notifications and leave a comment. Tell me what you think of these spaces and where do you think we should go next? What cities don't have more expandable apartments that desperately need them? Of course, don't forget, these spaces are available to rent today. Check the link in the description and schedule a tour. Thanks again. I'm Andrew from Ori and we'll see you at the next one. And I'm on my way. I've been working hard.